Here are five ways to make green bean casserole without turning on your oven. The slow cooker, a skillet, the instant pot, the air fryer, and the microwave. Because why not? In order for us to call it green bean casserole, it must have three ingredients. Green beans, mushrooms of any capacity, and those good old fried onions. The first way is in the slow cooker. The only caveat here is that you're not gonna get that crispy golden topping that you would get in the oven. So we'll have to make that separately. We just add in our cream of mushroom soup, some milk, salt, and pepper. We'll give that a stir, and we'll add in our mushrooms. See, then no one really knows you use the canned stuff. This has three pounds of green beans. Get those mixed in. Just wanna be sure everything gets nice and coated. You gotta love it when your mixing bowl also serves as your cooking vessel, also serves as your serving vessel. Close it up. We're gonna go high for three hours. Even though I don't like dirtying up multiple pans when I'm using a crock pot, this topping is pretty easy and delicious. This combines a little fresh with a little store-bought convenience product. So that's always good. The red onion adds good flavor and color. We'll cook these until they're slightly softened and a little bit golden brown. Now we're gonna add that crunchy goodness and some Parmesan cheese. Simple as that, that goes straight on top of the casserole. Green bean casserole in the skillet is the perfect way to make green bean casserole when you don't have room in the oven. But this is not the way to go if you've got a big crowd to feed. We just start out by sauteing some onions and mushrooms. We're gonna add in some flour. After you cook down the flour, you're gonna add in some low sodium chicken stock, a little bit of milk to make it creamy, and just a touch of dry sherry. This is just gonna give it such great flavor. Stir that around, as it comes to a simmer, it will thicken, like that cream of mushroom soup. We're gonna thicken it up a little more with some Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. This recipe uses the microwavable bag of those French green beans. So these are a little more tender, a little more delicate. You can steam those in the bag and then just shock them in some cold water to stop cooking. Remember, you're gonna serve right out of the skillet, so clean it up a little bit. You're probably thinking it's missing something, and you're right. We still have to have that crunchy onion topping in order for this to be true green bean casserole. It starts out with whole wheat panko breadcrumbs, some fresh parsley, Parmesan cheese, fresh garlic, and a little olive oil. I'm gonna add a little more salt and pepper. We'll stir this together, put it on top, and just pop it in the broiler for like two minutes and they're all done. There's no way we can leave out our friend, the Instant Pot. This is a great way to make the green bean casserole because you can feed a lot of people out of this in a shorter amount of time. However, the only problem I have with this way is it's not like a full casserole, you know? It doesn't bake together or come together. It's like we kind of have to make it in stages, but all the elements are there, so hopefully it satisfies the craving. Just sauteed some onions, garlic, and mushrooms and a little bit of olive oil on the saute setting. Once those are cooked, we're going to stir in some chicken broth, salt, and pepper. Give that a stir. This is another method that doesn't use the canned cream of mushroom soup. You also don't have to pre-cook your green beans, which I like. So we're going to add these green beans right on top of the sauteed onions and mushrooms. You don't want to stir it at this point. We wanna keep all that liquid on the bottom of the Instant Pot. Lids on, we seal the vent, and we're gonna pressure cook for one minute. It's done cooking. It's been releasing naturally for a couple minutes. Gonna turn it off and carefully release the pressure. Pressure is released, green beans are cooked. Now these green beans look like ones you get out of a can. I'm not mad at that. I don't know if it's a southern thing, but there are times when I want my green beans crunchy, and this is not one of them. Press saute on your Instant Pot, and we're going to make the creamy goodness to pour on top. So all I have is a half a cup of heavy cream. I'm gonna add in some flour, whisk that together, and as this heats back up, going to simmer a little bit and thicken. I didn't think I was really gonna like this method, but I kinda do. Still don't know if you can really call it a casserole, but it does meet all the requirements. I'm gonna turn this off, and we're ready to serve. And let's not forget the finishing touch. I'm not mad at it. I can't leave out my friend, the air fryer. 
You know how I feel about this thing. If it's gonna take up this much space on my counter, I better find a use for it. This definitely uses the word casserole very lightly. But let's give it a try, shall we? Fresh green beans, fresh mushrooms, and some onion. I'm gonna toss these with a little bit of olive oil, garlic powder, salt and pepper. I'm throwing this together just like I would roasting these vegetables in the oven. But the point of this whole exercise was to not take up our oven space. So, I mean, it's gonna be good. I'm not trying to be a hater, but where's the creamy goodness? I'm gonna air fry these at 400 because we're going for that roasted feel. I have no idea how long this is gonna take, probably close to 10 minutes. Spray your basket. I'll just add the whole thing. We're just going to need to check this throughout the process and toss it to keep them all evenly cooked. Here we go. All right, our air fryer is done. Took a total of about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna pull this out. This is definitely a good just use for your air fryer on a weeknight. They don't require a lot of babysitting. And of course, the fried onions. These are not air fried onions. But you were so good in your casserole. I mean, add a little bit of indulgence. I'm gonna call this the healthier green bean casserole. I do not want any nasty comments for this fifth and final way to make green bean casserole in the microwave. I do not generally cook in the microwave. However, I do have some really good recipes from my college dorm. That's another story. I'm just here to show you that it can be done. This is like the emergency method, but at the end of the day, it's probably gonna be the best tasting because it's gonna be the one that like our mom and grandmother used to make. The only difference is they baked it in the oven. So I'm going in with three cans of drained green beans. The can of goodness, a little bit of milk, and half of our amount of fried onions. Give that a good old stir. I'm not even adding salt and pepper. I'm keeping this true to the recipe on the side of the onion can. Okay, all that's mixed together. Going straight into a microwavable safe dish and then top it with some more of the onions. Let's go to the microwave. About six to seven minutes and we will have green bean casserole. And it's done. That looks like the one mama used to make, but I don't think she made it in the microwave. Let's finish what we started. This is the slow cooker version. It's been cooking for about three hours on high. The green beans are nice and tender, but because we blanched them before we put them in here, they're still a pretty green color. This onion mixture is going right on top and we will serve it straight from the crock pot. Doesn't get much easier than that. And there you have it, five different green bean casseroles cooked in five different ways, not in the oven. Let's review. Let's start with the crock pot. What I love about this method is that it's super easy. You're not dirtying a bunch of dishes. You can fix it and forget it, and it serves a crowd. And this is really good. Next up, skillet green beans. This, again, is your fancier option, one where you don't mind cooking while your guests are there, but this method is not for feeding a crowd. The flavor of the skillet green beans is more upscale. You don't get that cream of mushroom from a can flavor because it wasn't used. Um, it tastes lighter. I love the crunchy topping. I think your guests would like this. I'm surprised by how much I liked our third method, green bean casserole in the Instant Pot. The green beans are not the most attractive, but they are nice and soft, but they started fresh, not from a can. It still has that canned texture, but the flavor is way better. Um, and then we have plenty of crunchy topping. Mmm, that might be the winner. I kind of want to disqualify our fourth competitor here in the air fryer, but look, this version is for the healthy cook, the one that doesn't love casseroles, because you don't get that creamy, canned anything. It does have the components of crunchy onions, green beans, and mushrooms, but casserole is used loosely. Um, I think it's a great use for the air fryer, not so much for Thanksgiving, but for any weeknight. And for our final trick, green bean casserole in the microwave. I gotta go in on this one. I really did not wanna make this in the microwave, but it worked. This is the casserole that you had when you were a kid. Nothing fancy about it. Will it satisfy the craving if you just have to please a couple people at your Thanksgiving table and you don't feel like cooking? or maybe you don't cook, green bean casserole in the microwave. 
I'm surprised to admit that my favorite way to prepare and eat green bean casserole this holiday season is in the Instant Pot. The green beans are the perfect classic soft texture, but there's a great amount of flavor. Love the crispy onions. The cream sauce is just enough, and I'm happy. So I'll take this one with me. Happy holidays.